What's up boys and girls, welcome back to the second episode of the Hand of Glory. We haven't really found out what the hand is, or glory for that matter of fact. Because we completely got uh, devastated and humiliated with our encounter with um, Blowtorch on the last episode. So I think we're trying to find our way back into the force, but uh, maybe not. All we have to do right now is get the green dart here unlocked and carry on with our lives. Ah! Oh, oh no, oh, oh, that always what happens. Clumsy hands. I had, mm. I think I felt a twinge in my hand. Ooh, I detect voodoo. And you scored, <laughs> what a shot. Which physical law of the universe causes keys to inevitably fall inside the only manhole nearby? Fate. Gotta be fate. Opening the grate with bare hands was impossible. Besides, inside it seemed empty. So I imagine there must be a long drop beneath it. I saw no alternative. To recover the key, I would need to penetrate the sewers. <laughs> penetrate. <laughs> well, this would take time. I had already wasted too much. By then, the sun was almost setting. I decided to head out immediately, hoping not to miss the appointment. When I reached the place, the sun had already set. Ooh, the very shady guards just knocked out there in the corner. An old, desolate alley in West Miami. Why, why is everyone in Miami wearing a scarf? I thought it was, the place was supposed to be hot. I didn't know what to expect yet. I had to move cautiously. Maybe it's winter time or something and it's slightly less hot, I guess. But let's check out this dingy alley. Vending machine for sweet. That's a bit odd. odd. Seemed like a vending machine for chewing gum. But actually, it contains soft marshmallows. Ugh, they must have been- <laughs> they must be all melted in there. Go through the trash, as you do. What was damn, that? Damn cat! Okay. Black cat, not a good sign. She- Chef. Tony. Staff only. Is this- Tony? Is that- That's a bit weird. It's like a French restaurant with an Italian name. Maybe a French-Italian mix? Perhaps. Shall we try and talk to this guy? It was clearly blind drunk. Or worse. Oh no. Hey, are you okay? No answer. Not even a twitch or perceptible movement. Then I realized how things really were. The man wasn't breathing. Oh no. No, man, after all. Aha! Oh, it's that symbol again, is it? What the? What the hell? Lazarus Bond. Yes, that's Forgive me. Forgive this production, but I can't be with you in person for reasons beyond my control. The young Molesburg's kidnapping is just the first piece of a complex puzzle. A plan which, if not stopped, threatens to drag all of us to our doom. Yeah, this guy is definitely not a blowtorch. Seems too civilized and intelligent. I leave the responsibility in your hands, detective. Catherine Molesburg must be found, and her kidnappers brought to justice. Oh wait, this guy is on our side. I thought this was the villain. Look for my symbol. Wait, wait, what? I thought he was a villain. Hold up, am I getting this all wrong? <laughs> Very likely. I forced myself to interpret all this like a very bad joke. I failed. I started with the conviction to end my challenge with Ramos, and yet I found myself receiving a brand new one. The tone of that man suggested only determination, not a single trace of mockery, nor even a perceptible tremble. That guy really believed what he said. I immediately realized that he wasn't a mythomaniac. The hell's my a mythomaniac? Useless, so I decided to go back home and sleep on it. Maybe the night would bring much needed insight, and the next day I'd know what to do. I'm so confused. 
Also, the uh, the mannequin then kind of looked like Mysterio from uh, Batman. Ah, uh, sorry, Spider-Man. Uh oh. As was happening more and more often, I hadn't slept much, and I almost had the feeling I dreamed everything. Had I really received a bloody challenge from a lunatic with a mask? I needed confirmation, and the HPD office seemed the best place to look for it. Oh, but I uh, got fired, didn't I? Today's Miami Harbinger. Who knows if it might suggest something interesting. Another disappearance, perhaps? Let's uh, go through the paper. God doesn't need us. Father Verb, one of the most influential and controversial figures of our time. The Harbinger had even published the first page in color in his honor. Years before he had received the Nobel Prize for... I don't remember what reason. Then he disappeared from the scene. Apparently he had recently decided to return with a book attacking the project Alternative Sentence, launched by the United Nations a few years earlier. I didn't know much about it, and I suspected that soon everybody would be talking about it. Hmm, okay. This fella right here, Mysterio Man. The Harbinger is on the trail of the mysterious executive producer. For a few months, we have been following the story of a successful but unknown producer, and we have now decided to share what little information is available with you. Appearing out of nowhere a few months ago, Adam, allegedly his name, but believed to be a fake one, began funding projects with only a single common denominator. They would all go on to become big hits, earning him the prestigious Executive Producer of the Year award as decided by the readers of our entertainment insert. So far, all attempts to track him down have been in vain, making Adam part of the growing group of anonymous personalities that dominate the newspaper's pages, from the writer Elena Ferrante to the renowned artist Banksy. Oh, okay. Alright, all right. I can dig the that. HPD refused to share their progress on the blowtorch investigation. It was standard procedure, initially maintaining absolute radio silence from the press, and then throw them a little bone in the days after. Unless Gwendolyn Pratt had an interest in the story. Huh. That snake would have been able to slip into Burton's office through the window just to get the scoop. Uh, I don't think anything else is in the paper at the moment here. Okay. Alright. Let's uh, go to HPD, I guess. I had to go to Molesberg's mansion as soon as possible. To do that, I faced two problems. I had to convince Seamus Burton to give me access to the crime scene and recover the keys that kept Green Dart in prison, which I accidentally dropped in the sewer. It would also be useful to visit the alley again, where, just a few hours before, I received the challenge. In the daylight, some new clue might emerge. I thought we were at the alley in during the daylight. Alright, so we have a couple of objectives here. Alright, fair enough. Anything in, my, in the mail? I'm sure I would find only bills and sometimes it's better. Alright, guess not. She's still in the trap. Guess the rat is smarter. Eludes us another day. Oh, wait. Alright, so we could go to several places now. Let's go to the alley. The hike from the previous evening was enough. I had to regain possession of Green Dart. Never mind, we have to go get the bike first. That makes sense. So, shall we just go into the manhole over here? Maybe Thanks. I could retrieve the key to the lock by regretfully climbing down into the sewers. Lifting the manhole cover with my bare hands was an undertaking beyond my physical abilities. Right, do we have anything to lift the cover? No, we do not. Um... Willow. you have any ideas? Hey, Willow. I need permission to enter, Willow. The HPD is not open to civilian. You should know that full well. But if you need to press charges, let me know. I came to visit Seamus, Willow. Is it necessary to be part of the CIA to see him? Curious that you mentioned the CIA. Oh, God. Let's just do this old school. You scratch my back, and I scratch yours. Deal? Actually, there is one thing an ignorant peasant like you could do for me. Oh, it's another dirty magazine. Do you see that red sports car? I guess not. It's impossible not to see that fireball. A fireball parked for three days in a spot reserved for a public official, namely me? I tried to have it towed, but they just ignored me. I can't imagine why, but okay. I'll make that car disappear sooner than you can formulate another conspiracy theory. Must be a big shot who owns the car. If you need tactical support, let me know. <laughs> uh, I'll, go I'll go check if the package I've been waiting on for three and a half months has arrived. 
<laughs> doesn't have anything to say about that. Uh, how are we going to get this car out of the Some way? Some men here? are able to move a car with their bare hands, as if it were a toy. I was never one of them. Yeah, I would figure. Uh, anything else we can interact with here? We can go into the alley here again. Not the alley, but the uh, promenades, I guess. Everything still kind of looks the same, except this guy. She was planning to commit to film every detail that might be worth showing to her relatives. That fountain was horrible. I didn't know why she took pictures of it so earnestly. Yeah, it belongs to Miami. Uh, news agent. I had nothing else to say to that fake Frenchman. Alright, I guess so. Uh, can we take some tools? Maybe in there I'd have found something that might have helped me get rid of the illegal Parker. Hey, you! What are you trying to do? I was checking that all tools are in compliance with the security regulations for roadworks. Are you a trade unionist? No, I'm just a citizen who values the safety of our good masons risking their lives every day. If you really care about your health, leave those tools alone. Hmm. So long as the ma so long as the mason was alert and careful, I wasn't going to be able to take anything from there. So how do we distract them again with the same? Putting it in my pocket was out of the question, if needed. I guess same mechanic. Um, can we just talk to him? I had nothing else to ask. Can we, uh... I was happy to get rid of that magazine. The wall had recently... Mason see Maybe I could take advantage of this weakness. But I would need something uh -huh. in which I could vandalize the wall. Okay. There's a marker, though. So maybe we can take the marker away from uh, Willow? Perhaps? Hold up. Hey, Willow. Uh, do you mind if I borrow this marker for a while? What do you have to do? I can use it to get rid of your illegal Parker. All right, go ahead and take it. I prefer the old method anyway. I will never understand why you keep using quills instead of normal ballpoint pens. Oh yeah, he's, he's using a quill. Pens <laughs> even notice that. microchip for satellite tracking. Didn't you know that? <laughs> and there's no need for that. They already implanted one in you, Willow. Don't you worry. They know exactly where you are. Besides, you, you're a policeman. Uh, okay, let's vandalize this wall. I consider myself a bad boy exactly for these kinds of ideas. Straw big willy. No, what the hell is that? Just a scribble. Okay. Hey, Amateur. Boss, some punk must have targeted your amazing brick wall. Oh, it's the face of the other guy. Alright, let's have at the toolbox. There it was. The Kleptomaniac 7. <laughs> Found an adjustable wrench. A worn out but still usable mallet. Huh, and a brand new measuring tape. Alright. Every point and clicker adventure is heaven. This guy's still going at it on the guitar with his doll. Pretty amazing, if you ask me. Nice strumming, dude. Right, so what can we use here? A mallet and nails? Mallet and nails on a sports car? I would have surely forced the car owner to move it away, but I would have exposed myself too directly. What I needed was a more cunning and indirect approach. Hmm, okay. Um, not really sure how we could do that. Maybe we can use some of these tools with a manhole. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't see a good reason. We want to get in there, don't we? Use the mallet. I thought it was better to look for another solution. Can we use the uh, tape measure then? Sometimes, my... No. Oh, there's a fire hydrant here. If the parking culprit lived nearby as I suspected, he would certainly witness the disaster that was about to befall his roadster. Just uh, wet the car? It's that, that's our plan, I guess? Why? Fair enough. I let the water pressure do the rest. Now, it would just be a matter of time. Uh... Someone gonna move the car? Oh, there was someone in there. The place is all yours, Willow. Oh wait, maybe not. Maybe he just entered the car. From somewhere we didn't see. Just a bit of water, to be honest. Oh, this Lazarus is the reporter, Bundy. isn't it? What a chance encounter. And things go from bad to worse. Man, I didn't realize how dirty Green Dart was. I really need to deal with something else right now. Come back later, okay? Information can't wait. 
But above all, it's the American people who can't wait. They deserve to know. And right now, they are crying out to hear what law enforcement is doing to protect the great country which is America. In particular, what Lazarus Bundy is doing to prevent a dangerous criminal from continuing to slaughter innocent people. Well, I could tell you about how my brain practically spilled out of my ears from the beating I took just to save a girl. But then your article would read, Detective Bundy loses brain and culprit. That means you had some gray matter left when you let the Metro artist and the nightclub gigolo slip through your fingers? Is giving nicknames to criminals the best you can do? Apart from appearing just when something goes wrong? Gotcha. You're admitting the last case went wrong. It's fake news. Fake news. <sighs> Rumor has it that this umpteenth failure was also your last failure, Bundy. Rumor is that Seamus Burton refused to have your back after a blowtorch, the monster that shook Miami, escaped capture. Rumor is also that a certain detective could sue a certain imposter for slander. Do you want to stand against the freedom of the press? I have the people on my side. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. This is uh, like Fox News type of deals. Newscasts, agents, and uh, just news in general are really infuriating, man. Are you talking about those morons that read your sensationalist <laughs> and inflammatory stuff? Very well. The red scarf detective insults honest citizens. Why am I still talking to you? Because I'm about to give you a loophole out of this spiral of failure. In two days, I'll be shooting a special in front of Ramos's house, a program in which I'll reveal all the info I have on live television, whether provided by official sources or not. Of course. And I should be that official source, I suppose. You know, I think I'll respectfully decline your god... I mean, your proposal. I got wind that the detective in charge of the case had voluntarily let David Ramos get away, according to a credible witness who wished to remain anonymous for safety reasons, there could be a history of corruption behind this. I've never accepted a bribe in my entire life, Brad. You know that full well. That is your truth. Do you think it's intriguing enough to become the preferred truth of the people? Oh, is that intriguing enough to become the, the truth of the people? The ball is in your Bundy. It's up to you to decide whether to shoot it or pass. Bye-bye. A nice cool satire to uh, so today's that had chosen her news society to sacrifice I guess. To the national press what was i supposed to do at that point would i go back where it all started or would i let them tear me apart without even trying to defend myself hey laws was gwendolyn pratt the woman you were talking to what don't be silly you know pratt avoids me like a plague never mind that what do you have to say about my parking job? Yes, yes. An impressive performance. Although I'd have done it faster. Stop worrying out my eardrums and grant me permission. Who, who brought the Willow's car into the parking spot? I wonder. Because it wasn't him. He was there the whole time, I think. This is my modified temporary pass. I was sure I lost it years ago. I kept it as a symbol of your egocentrism. You're the first and only one to ever insist on having his photo on a temporary pass. <laughs> Alright, we, uh, we have a way in, though. So it doesn't matter what you say, Willow. Okay, let's look around the office uh, first, shall we? See if anything I can interact with. Ramos, immortalized from his best side. Again, with this guy. The notes on the bulletin board were mostly focused on possible sightings of Blowtorch, a constant in Miami in those days. What do you mean, in those days? Like before his capture? Uh, let's see. We can go further to the left. There's another mugshot here. Anytime I stood in front of it, I would feel a chill run through me. Weird cases. Oh, let's have a look at those. The weird cases, aka the department that dealt with investigations into mysterious events. Ooh, X Files. The real mystery was why Burton kept on investing funds in such nonsense. Oh. My colleague was visibly focused on a case of the utmost importance. Yeah, jamming out. Uh, is there anything else here we can interact? No, let's talk to the lady here, the secretary. Hey there. Good morning. What can I do for you? How formal. In this office, the air is already stuffy despite the windows being open. You are right. This is an office, sir. Therefore, there's a standard we must adhere to, and I can't afford to make mistakes. First day of work, huh? 
First day of internship, actually. Terrifying. <laughs> Once I did an internship at a post office, and I was forced to lick stamps <laughs> for three months. Well, Eventually, I acquired the ability to climb walls with my tongue. <laughs> That's not my case. This is exactly the place I'd like to be. All right, fine. What, what, what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> the mystery-filled atmosphere. The walls soaked with a strong sense of justice. The excitement of not knowing what your next case will be. Or if you'll be able to pay the monthly rent. That is really not uncertain. This is an unpaid internship. <laughs> she already knows that for certain. I feel you, sister. Now, can you let Burton know that I'd like to talk to him? I can try, but I don't think the inspector will be receptive right now. Whom do I have to introduce? What? Don't you recognize me? I'm the one and the only incomparable. Lazarus Bundy! Whoa! Yay! You are Lazarus <laughs> Bundy? They called you the mutt at the academy. Uh, what? No, that was, uh... <clears throat> that was the other one. Hey, if I get my hands on the ones calling me names... They meant that when you take a case, you grab onto it like a dog with a bone and don't give up until it's stripped clean. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. That was me. Oh. Well, in that case, I cannot disagree. I'll promptly announce you, Mr. Bundy. I'm sure Inspector Burton will be happy to receive you. I'm sure he Mr. will. Mr. Burton, Detective Bundy is here asking to meet with you. Can I let him in, sir? Bundy, you said? Let him through. All right, sir. Uh, I guess, uh... You can go in, Mr. Bundy. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Miss... Uh, what's your name? Alice. Alice Sharp, sir. Uh, sharp as it takes. Alice. Nice name. Stay frosty. Let's go in. <laughs> oh, Alice. Yes, Mr. Bundy? Please drop the formality and call me Lars. I'm not your superior. Okay, Mr. B... Uh, Lars. I don't even work here anymore. The tough as nails, Bundy, detective. I wasn't expecting to see you here so soon. I couldn't stay away from you for more than 12 hours, old boy. How's Isabel? She has a hairier chest than you and more pants than me. What are you doing here? <laughs> okay. I decided to be elusive. It didn't make sense to involve the department in a story that, up till that moment, I wanted to keep private. I still can't get used to the idea of sleeping as long as I want, and I'm struggling to fill my free time. Don't start with your games. Nobody's buying them. I bet you're here to snoop around the Mulsberg case. What? Me? No. I did hear something in passing on the TV. What can you tell me about it? Nothing you can't hear on the news tonight. Normal kidnapping case. A teenage victim, Catherine Mulsberg. Daughter of Eric Mulsberg, one of the wealthiest and most powerful men in the city. The latter details suggest two possible scenarios. We could be dealing with a pro, or better yet, with someone desperate who will be shaking in his boots at the first sign of a threat. Imagine, we haven't even warned Mulsberg of our involvement in this investigation. We just limited ourselves to putting his phone under surveillance at the request of the police. Soon we'll get a contact. The pressure cooker will pass to the negotiator and we can go back to dealing with the scum. It's a very cut and dry case, I guess. But this is a strong media impact case. Not solving it would mean compromising the reputation of the HPD. They seem like they're gonna fumble it by assuming everything is ordinary. I always like the way you turn the tables, kid. But you won't push me into asking for your help. You will need it sooner or later, Inspector. Don't make me beg, old man. Give me another chance. And then it would be another and yet another. You would never give up and I'd find myself constantly covering your ass. If you refer to the blowtorch case, I already thanked you a thousand times for saving my skin from that maniac serial burner. Yeah, but who got there first, though? Despite the nail-biting finale, though, the girl is safe. We can discuss protocol and procedures, but at the end of the day, that's what really counts. If you had waited for backup as planned instead of going rogue, we would have saved the girl and taken our man. Now Ramos is on the lam with a rap sheet that would put a terrorist to shame and with his goddamn blowtorch. Rap sheet? You checked the criminal records of the tenants in that building. They were all spotless. Because he committed his crimes under the name Hector Manchada during his stay in Mexico. Those incompetents downstairs let a man accused of rape and violence against women slip through their hands. Idiots. Mm, what about uh, immigration as well, though? That's why you need me. I never allow such a disaster. No, you've caused a totally different one. You've been reckless. You acted without thinking, and if we're being frank, 
You also got beat up like a shrinking violet. Now open your ears and listen up, kid. This old Irish ass has spent most of his life within these walls and recognizes when a career has come to an end. You can't work anymore. The sooner you accept this reality, the better. I get it, old man. You're all heart and fatherly advice. I made a mistake coming here, and it's wasted my time. Just hear me, kid. It's not redemption you need now. Just take care of it, I, old man. He looks like a giant sausage from here. <laughs> That's what you should have said. Hells yeah, we're gonna go find redemption. Burton was immovable. I could usually extort any kind of favor from him, but not that time. I needed my badge if I wanted to take up the challenge posed to me. I asked myself where it could be stashed. Burton's very own office? And if so, how to recover it? One thing was certain. I needed help. And maybe I knew where to find some. Oh yeah? Where? Can we go in here and check this out? Is it the cafeteria or something? Oh no, just a... Uh, oh, that's the town. Alright. Oh, there's a drill here. I suppose asking you to borrow the drill would be too bold. Eh, I'd let you take it, since it belongs to that inept fool on the street. But then he would go postal on me and I would never hear the end of it. But if you want to use it here, I'm fine with it. Go ahead and drain the battery completely. Uh, okay. Let's just have a look around first. Useless junk. Except maybe for one board longer than the others, and a metal tube. Maybe I could have sneaked into the office on that side, but without any help, I'd get stuck. Hmm. The vase was held in position by a metal planter. Apparently very tough. So it may come a time we need to climb into the window. Just check everything else around here. Used for, well, welding. Okay. Anything else around? Just the guy it's Oh, there's a tube though. Hold up. Having a metallic object of considerable size in my pocket could be advantageous. All right. Hello, good man. What? Can you tell me how long this work will last? I know your type. You're one of those who likes complaining to his superiors. Go bother someone else, loafer. I just wanted to chat. I don't even work here anymore. Then you're just wasting my time. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. You know what? I don't think I'll ever be able to look at a blowtorch again without shuddering. That Ramos has forever tarnished the noble art of welding. Someone should really teach him a lesson. I hope it doesn't have to be me. <laughs> how, did, how did he tarnish the noble art of welding? I don't see that connection there. He was a plumber, anyways. About wasting your time. Why did the blacksmith turn the radio off? No, please. No <laughs> jokes. I don't... He doesn't like heavy metal. <laughs> that made me laugh so hard. Do you know why a blacksmith goes to the doctor? Wait, I don't... Iron deficiency. <laughs> That's so bad. Can I get back to my work now? They just fired my friend, who was a blacksmith. Please, no more. He had lost his temper. Uh, okay. You're unbearable. Last one. Okay, this is a long one. I want to die. There's this blacksmith who urgently needs an assistant. So he hires the first novice he finds. The first workday starts. The blacksmith takes an iron bar, heats it, and puts it on an anvil. Now I take out the bar and put it on the anvil, he says to the young apprentice. As soon as I nod my head, you hit it as hard as you can with the hammer. Those were his last words. Uh, okay. Well, maybe you'll get it later. Enough with this nonsense. Thank God. I'll go enjoy this amazing sunny day on the seashore. I hope it's stormy. Alright, so he said we could use the drill here, but do can I use the drill in something? I couldn't drill in that spot. Um, on the boards here? No way. Maybe. Or maybe not. In that moment, it didn't seem to be a good solution to me. Mm, so do I, can I use it anywhere then? I don't think so. I didn't understand how that could possibly... Maybe we're not just, we don't, oh, uh, don't need to use it just yet. Let's see. What happens if I click here to go to Miami? Do I go? Oh, we just checked As out the always, view. As always, Miami left me breathless. 
One of the many city parks where you can go jogging by the sea. Not that I ever jogged in my life, but sometimes I lurked on some bench watching the girls running. I always wondered how... how... Because uh, the, apparently the weather in Miami is very humid. I wonder how many mosquitoes are there. Miami stood out against the horizon, dazzling as always. Yeah, it wasn't exactly an easy city to live in, with its alarming traffic and no subway. But for me, it had always been a place where the sun rose. Wait, is it Miami that's really humid, or is it Florida? Maybe I'm thinking about Florida. Wait, Miami is in Florida, right? I would have gladly gone to the beach rather than spending my day at the office. Well, maybe I would do it later. Uh, doesn't really seem like there's anything else I can interact with. Okay, never mind that. The window was made with a peculiar metallic frame. Can I do something with a frame? Okay, doesn't seem like that. Let's just get out of here. Let's uh, check out notes, actually. I have to convince Burton to include me in the investigation. It was no use. The only solution is to retrieve the badge from his office. If I want to move freely around the city, I have to retrieve the keys from... Uh, to green dart from the sewers. Okay. We do have a pipe now, so maybe we can use that to open the manhole cover. The tube would have been perfect for leverage, but there were no grooves in the cover to insert it. Hmm, okay, maybe not. Um I wouldn't want a car like that, even if it was a gift. Not to mention that Green Dark could probably go faster than that, Peter. With less pollution. Alright, we do have some hammer and nails, so maybe we can, like, fix a bridge across or something? It's worth a try. Um... Use this on the board? No way. Guess not. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, there we go. I balanced one of the boards over the void, creating a suspended bridge. Uh, can I... Didn't exactly feel safe about it. The board seemed well positioned, but not very stable. Alright, so maybe we can hammer it in? By securing the board to the railing, the crossing would be considerably safer. Now the board was well secured on the side of the balcony with two nails, while the planter held it firmly in place. Unfortunately, the mallet broke during the hammering. It was obviously more damaged than it looked. Obviously. So we're gonna be going I had through placed now? the catwalk perfectly, but once on the other side, I would need some help. Uh, what does that mean? I had placed the catwalk perfectly, but once on the other side, I would need some help. Um... Is the drill on the other I side? I thought it was better to look once again. Okay, maybe maybe we have to go from his office, do something, open the window maybe or something? My badge might have been just a few feet away from me inside that office, but I couldn't just enter and take it. What I needed was a plan. Well, never mind that. Uh, Alice, have you got any ideas of Hello. what I can do? Hi. Are you really interested in obtaining this job? More than anything else. Ever since I was 10 and watched noir movies with my dad, I dreamed of investigations, spy stories, chases. Those were only in-movie situations, but I considered it appropriate to curb my sarcasm for once. This girl could be very helpful. With such enthusiasm, you're gonna go far. Did you study anything before getting here? I studied computer science in depth at the academy. And some kinesics. Oh, finally, someone who might understand Wilo when he talks. <laughs> what the hell is kinesis? I'm kinesics? sure he barrages kinesics? me with curse words. Kinesics? Under the guise of his exotic language. Willow Wee is Vietnamese, not Chinese. And kinesics is a science that studies body language. Oh, okay, thank you. It sounds complex. What's its use? It helps me understand if a person is being honest. I am certain it will be helpful here. Definitely. I know it may sound strange, but I need your help. I couldn't refuse even if I wanted. 
I'm an intern, remember? As it turns out, I am presently unemployed. Shouldn't have said that. What? A veteran like you fired? Right now, it's not important. What matters is that I can't work officially anymore, and I find myself conducting an investigation off the books. But I can't do that without my badge. Doing it undercover. Wait, you're going to ask me to get it behind the inspector's back, aren't you? You're not really asking that of me. A first day intern, the bottom step on the social ladder, are you? You bet, intern. <laughs> I could possibly accept, but what do I get out of it? Some healthy, real life work experience. Exactly. <laughs> I must warn you, though, if you call me intern once more in that tone, I'll put my fist in your eye so forcefully that it will match the color of your scarf. Hot damn. I think I can resist the impulse. So, done deal? Done deal. What do I have to do? I need a distraction for Burton, and you would be the perfect bait. I knew I should expect such things when I accepted the internship. Add my phone number to your contact list. Of course. Um, how do I do that exactly? I see my tech skills will be very helpful to you. <laughs> Why does he have a phone even? <laughs> New contact. Okay, good. So we can use her as a distraction. I was wondering, that white lock of yours. Everybody asks about my lock and nobody receives an answer. It's personal. All See right. See you soon, intern. Ugh. The mystery of the white lock begins. We shall envelop it as we go along. All right, so let's uh, create a distraction here. Contact uh, Alice. I didn't need to call Alice right at that moment. Yes, I did. The crossing would be dangerous, and the motivation pushing me to act was way too weak. Yet I felt I needed to go through with this story, no matter what. All right, here we go. It was already the second time in a matter of days that I found myself spying on someone through a window. I hoped it would not turn into an obsession. <laughs> Definitely will. Uh, let's see. I couldn't do anything from the windowsill. Uh, can we shimmy along a bit further, or... Wait. I couldn't do anything from the windowsill. Can we go in or something? We can only interact with these two here, so let's call Alice. Now it was up to Alice to get Burton out of my way. Okay, now I have the chance to prove myself. I just have to stay calm, not screw it up, and maybe, and I say maybe, this month I'll be able to pay my rent. Oh, poor thing. All right, let's go in. Hey, intern. Oh, God. Yes? What's up, Shaggy? Don't you see that there isn't even one coffee bean left in this office? I can't concentrate without caffeine, so try to procure some right now, intern. I really don't like the way he keeps saying intern to me. As I already told you, my name is Alice, and unfortunately, at the moment, I can't deal with... Less talking and more coffee. Come on, march. I can't waste my time paying attention to this bore. I must put into practice what I learned in the academy and study his behavior. We're gonna Sherlock Holmes the shit out of this. Uh, what's this? Playing as Alice, it is possible to access a new function. The art of kinesics. You can select it from the inventory by clicking on the appropriate icon. Okay, so shall we study our colleague? All right, I need to read this man like a book. Gaze down, arms crossed, very defensive. Click on the blue plan, plan, uh, panels and form a hypothesis, hypothesis for every gesture expression available. Once you set all options correctly, Alice will draw some useful conclusion. Okay. Hmm. Gaze down, could be an ease. Arms cross, very uh, defensive position. We get this right. Poorly concealed security. All right then, let's see if all those sleepless nights hitting the books were good for something. Hey, you. Are you talking to me, intern? Yes, you, hairdo. What? Hey, watch your mouth, uh, intern, or else. We got him. We got him. Or else what? Actually, you know what? You can get that coffee yourself, detective. But, but I... I, I really did it. We unhinged him. Now let's take care of Burton, quick. Come in. 
Mr. Burton, I need a hand filling in these forms. It should be Travisky helping you with those things. What happened to that slacker? Well, he's, he's uh, slacking, for a, a matter of fact. I couldn't find him anywhere, so I thought that if you could be so kind to... I'm really busy right now, as you can see. You'll have to figure it out for yourself, darling. Okay. I'll be going then. Honestly, that tie just looks like a wet sock. Has gone through a few months on its own, and it's now grown very moldy. Wait, wait, curse me and my compassion. I'll help you, but just this one time, are we clear? I won't disappoint you, sir. Thank you. All right, distracted. Distraction complete. At that point, I needed to move at high speed. These windows are very weird, just being held up by a plank or a torch log or it. something. It seemed possible that my badge might have been temporarily left in there. And there it was, just as I thought. Bingo. It was done. I was finally free to act as a qualified investigator. I'm calling it a day, Alice. Oh, God. My arthritis is killing me with all this writing. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, no, he's gonna fight that. He's gonna fight us out. Well, let's take a look at this damn dossier. And then what would I do to get out of trouble? If Burton discovered me, all would have been for nothing. In that situation, I just had to hope that Alice would come up with something brilliant. That's not good at all. Lars is stuck and he can't move without being noticed. Don't say that out loud. I have to go in again, but this time I really don't know what excuse I could fabricate. Hmm. We're gonna have to come up with something brilliant.